Welcome back to the case study of Vanatos. Anime review episode number 21, Scars. Excuse me. This one covers roughly chapters 46 and 47. Plus, excuse me. It covers a page. <laughs> That, uh, of a chapter that was skipped over like a while ago. I think it's from chapter 23. You're thinking, really? Yes, really. Yeah, it skipped over a episode from it skipped over an episode from from a page from chapter 23. Not really sure why they did this for. They just did. Yes. So yeah, there was a page this one they skipped over because there's a character pops up in that particular one that is referenced here. It's weird though that they that they decided to do this with this one, where like, okay, let's just adapt a page from from a chat we skipped for this episode. So with this one we start off with Noe answering the door of Amelia. Yes, Amelia, where he opens the door, gets an envelope from the name the name of the envelope says Mikkel. Open the envelope, and there's a piece of hair coming out. A ponytail. Who does it belong to? Dominique. So he rushes up to the fairgrounds. Excuse me about that. Yeah, so Amelia tells Vantos about this. Vantos knows who Mikkel is, and he rushes off trying to stop him. And then we cut to the fairgrounds. No way is there. We also see a flashback, mostly stuff we've seen before with with with, with No Way, except that they actually added something here. You're probably thinking, "What do they add here?" Well, what happened after Louise's death? Because that part we didn't know before. Now we do. Apparently, when No Way uh, right after Louise was killed by, excuse me, the shapeless one, that is what they refer to as Dominic's grandfather as the shapeless one. So, so basically he's in bed, he's basically traumatized even after, like he got more traumatized after seeing that the box that Dominic gave him, like what, what was he making, the whole pair of him was basically winning stakes. And then of course, Veronica shows up. Who is Veronica, you might ask this series? Dominique's older sister. And here's the thing, she reveals something that even probably, I kind of forgot this was mentioned in the manga. Luis is not only her brother, but her twin brother. Yes, her twin. Yeah, apparently she didn't know that. She had no idea. I mean, that could explain why Luis and Dominic look exactly alike. They're twins. And apparently, according to Veronica, like, apparently having twins is bad in vampire ability? Yeah, I thought this is kind of weird. Now here's the thing, humans who have twins are blessed by this, yeah, two, two additional mouths to have, two, like two babies, two kids, great. But the way they think of it is that it's, it's basically looked down upon if you have twins. Which I'm like, really? So a woman is looked down upon based on the fact she gave birth at once more than one child. Wow, that is so stupid. And what's Dominic's response when when Noe, Noe actually calls her Louis of her actual name? She is very upset by this, and then proceeds to cut her own hair off. Well, to sort of a tomboyish look, and dress like her late brother. And you should probably think that Noe would basically be happy with this. No, he's not. He is not happy with that at all. It's a good thing in present day she grew back that beautiful long black hair she has. Yep. And then, of course, in the case of where Dominic went when he when Noe gets the, the spark, well, she he finally meets Mikkel, who reveals himself to be Vanessa's brother. Yes. Like, he doesn't know the name, but he does know the number he mentions, number 71. We get flashback to the doctor. The one who 
tortured Vantos when he was younger from the Catacombs arc. Which, okay, that's interesting. Excuse me. So yeah, they brought him back here. And of course, uh, basically, Mikkel tells him that, oh, Vantos killed their father, even though that apparently Noe was shocked by the revelation. Apparently, there's not the revelation that apparently Mikkel wanted. Apparently, also, he reveals that, and this is definitely true, Noe knows almost nothing about Vantos. So Mikkel offers Noe to drink his blood. Yeah, he proceeds to sort of almost take off his shirt in order to do this. Yes. Now, the thing is, the way to explain the series is that if you're willing... Now, if, if you basically are bitten against your will and vampire society comes to sucking blood, it's not exactly a good idea to do that. People have to be very... Con had to do it via consent. Yes. Where it's very consensual, they have no problem with biting about that. This was mentioned by Jeannie... Why did you mention she bit somebody, but she does bring up the fact that she had permission to do this by the person she bit. She has, she has permission for, from the person to, to bite him and suck his blood. Yeah, and this basically was with well, no way not wanting to do this, but Mikkel basically wanted to do it, and he kind of has no choice in the matter. It's kind of reversed, basically, with, you can almost kind of say, like, forcing like the bite somebody, suck their blood. It's almost like a form of rape, the way to describe it here. And doing it by force is is actually against vampire law. But in the case of Wachini's case, it's it's consensual. So it's perfectly fine. This is a bit of verse on that. Where the person who wants a bit is consenting, but the person who is doing the biting is not wanting to do this, but okay, so he bites them. And he looks to a flashback. Apparently, he sees his late mother, or apparently his, that Mikkel's mother was a prostitute. Yes, a prostitute that was killed by a vampire, which, according to him, thought it was saving her. Also, for some reason, and this is not exactly explained here. Apparently, Mikkel's late mother decided to dress up like a girl. For reasons. Who the heck freaking knows. And then he starts wandering around. The tunnels of the of the catacombs. And then he's found by. By. By by Ronald. Yes the character we see in present day. Like I'm thinking like. How old is Ronald? That's a very good question. Because he looks exactly the same present day. And then we see Oliver later in the episode. And. Oh my gosh, I'm getting flashback to the catacombs are because they're the very same room that Vantos and No Way Chase Ronald into in that arc. And then, of course, Ronald's pulled away. And then Mikkel is dragged away by somebody else, by the doctor. And where it's, it's like, oh, number 69, can you keep an eye on him? And number 69 is Vantos. And that's how the episode ends. Gotta admit, this actor's pretty good. It's nice still they finally adapted that one page he skipped over from chapter 23. I think a lot of people watch this episode, read the manga, like, wait, you, you skipped over that page. Why'd you skip over that page for? Well, I think I know the reason why they skipped over, because that page sets up this very arc, which is basically like Return of the Catacombs. That's mostly what this one is. But we get a little bit from when I was reading this arc, I'm like, yeah, we get a lot of revelations about about, about Noe in this arc, which is going to be quite interesting to get development for him and Vantos. Which very much look. Oh, by the way, Genie is basically Genie's. Him and, Lu, and Luca are told that Dominique has gone missing, and she's missing for three days. So, Luca, it's implied as he's telling Genie to go look for her. And oh, by the way, Dominique, when she's finally seen present, she's seen it standing on top of a Ferris wheel. Where she's brainwashed. Yes. So it's also implied that Mika is what was the one who had Dominique attack, be the vampire who attacked people. That was a curse bearer. Nope, it just Dominique being possessed. Like, interesting. To say the least, yes. But love this episode. Really good. 
Can't wait for the next one. Okay, so that's a single view. Next one's going to be a comic quarter. Yes, and then it's going to be two more anime, and that'll be it for tonight. Okay, next anime is going to be Case Closed. Yep, the next one's going to be a comic quarter, and then, uh, then move on to Case Closed. Okay, next video. Bye.